Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just got here. You know, I was reading some of these United States codes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About those that launder money because they pay the payroll of those that refuse to enforce the laws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if the offense involved filing a tax return in which your gross income... Mm -hmm was underreported, the tax loss will be treated as equal to 28% yes. of the unreported income, 34% mm -hmm. of the taxpayers of corporation, yeah. plus 100% yes. of any false credits <laughs> claimed against the tax, mm -hmm. unless a more accurate determination of the tax loss can be made. Yes. Now, uh, for every police officer, yes. Mm -hmm. And all the sheriffs, right? The FBI. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get me your tax credits of each and every one of your tax returns for the last twenty-five years? <laughs> See, I just sent an email wanting custody of my sons. Yes, and then I wanted to speak to Marilyn and her children. Yeah, her kids. Right. Mm -hmm. And I thought for sure, right now, you were going to want to do that. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm going to want to know every tax credit of every oath, yes, every badge, yes, every attorney, <clears throat> every judge and justice of the United States. <laughs> See, I'm a little frustrated at this whole thought. Yes, yes, yes. My wife petitions the court yes. for dissolution of marriage, mm -hmm. May 24th of 2012, right, mm -hmm. fills out all these forms, right, and more than likely, she did not include the stipulation and order from Guam mm -hmm. that would have regulated our marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. The state the state courts itself. <laughs> and then she probably put one of these restraining order issued, uh, mm -hmm. uh, has to have mental health evaluation before visitation. Yes. This moral turpitude of saying her husband's crazy. Mm. It's one of those hundred billions. Yes. But when you mm -hmm, agree to do whatever you say, yes, mm -hmm, because you get paid, yes, uh, it looks like you have not been including in your gross income. You've underreported the gross income that you've received. Yes. You didn't get that 1099 for bribery? No. You didn't get the 1099 for all the times right now. Just give me your tax credits. Yes. See, I'm going to want to sue the police department. Yes. For the issuance of a dissolution of marriage. Yeah. Where the petitioner, yes, as a pro se litigant. Yes. Indigent. <coughs> uh, said that her husband was crazy. Yes. Now, um, when you really think about it. Yes. This false accusation of attempting to contact the petitioner through a third party. Yeah. Going to trial for that. Oh. And then uh, wanting me to look bad, yes, uh, while in court, mm -hmm. so that she would just say, well, I'm crazy. Right. I'm this uh, individual, yes, that did not get any actual notice of court hearings during the whole dissolution of marriage. <laughs> See, the summons yes. is a response. Yep. Uh, but the notice of court hearings was never given to me. No. No, no. Mm. This is something where I'm summoned and that someone has petitioned for dissolution of marriage. Right. I write out a five-page response. I fill out the necessary information on the court forms. Yes. I include approximately 50 pages of documentation supporting what I had said. Yeah. And after that, <clears throat> I never got notice of any other court hearings. Yes. Now, if your offense yes, involved filing a tax return mm -hmm. in which your gross income was underreported. Yes. Now, I know you're in the police department. <clears throat> you probably get one of these uh, W-2s or W-4s every year. Mm -hmm. But you've been receiving a lot of income right now. See, it's called bribery. You've been bribed. And it's unreported gross income that the briber mm -hmm. uh, forgot to send you a 1099 for. Yes. Now, there's the gift tax. Right. Uh -huh. If it was over $14,000, that's an automatic 35% to the, to the individual that gave you that bribe. Mm -hmm. 
but to the recipient of the bribe, it's considered unreported gross income. 